My name is Wes Rhodes. I'm from the Chinese Kung Fu Academy and for Expert Village. And this is striking with the praying mantis claw. Now, striking with the mantis claw is done mostly two ways. It aims from the neck up, and you use the fingertips or the wrist to strike vital points, either the side of the head, the temples, or the eyes with the fingertips. Now, striking with the wrist, aim for the cheek, make them see stars. Side of the head, it's very easy. Now, same token, you wouldn't usually use this to hit the body because it's not a full power technique. It's for speed and for accuracy. So they go from a fighting guard and you step in and punch. From a simple block, all you do, you twist the waist and see, striking with the wrist or the fingertips towards the eyes. Do it again. Now, the strikes are done fast. It's speed that kills, not strength. And if you see, hold your hand out. The strike, see, I'm not going to try and swing as hard as I can. See, it's not very strong that way. If you just move quickly, see, there's a lot of power behind it. Yep, very like that. The fingertips, you act like you're grabbing the nose. You can't just like poke like this. You want to grab and keep the fingers relaxed. Tense fingers aren't necessarily the best way. You want to be nice and loose, and it'll cre increase your speed and your accuracy. So let's try again. So you step in, punch. See, from a block, boom. See, very easy. Same idea. Step in, punch. Fingertips. Now, whenever using a fingertip strike like this, you want to remember, if you poke somebody in the eyes, there's a good chance you can blind them. So you have to look at these techniques with a lot of responsibility. You must only use them in a real self-defense situation. And that's how you use the mantis claw to strike in the northern praying mantis style.